Assalamu alaikum and good morning from Jerusalem. I'm currently in the National Hotel. Now, in this video, I'm going to try to show you uh, as much as I can in terms of cost, okay? So I'm going to start here in the hotel that we're staying at and then I'm going to go out and try to show you as much as I can. I'll talk a little bit about SIM cards as well, um, about food products, um, maybe about transportation, where you can grab the bus from. I'll tell you about the currency. I'll try to talk about how much you get for a pound or for USD and things like that. Maybe we'll talk about cash machine as well ATMs um, so I'm currently stood in the National Hotel this is a four-star hotel it's around 10 minute walk from the old city which is just that way over there so the first thing I'll tell you is that this hotel actually has a semi-decent view of this part of Jerusalem now this is like I think East Jerusalem so there's quite vibrant a um, lot of food shops cafes souvenir shops stuff like that but anyways this is my hotel and uh, you have a kettle um, you have a uh, this is actually a twin room but we were given a double and a single bed uh, you have ironing board iron you have to request that a little seating area here and then you've got a desk where you can do work on um you also have a tv wi-fi is included it's it's decent it's not too bad um and then you have uh, a nice storage area over there i'll quickly show you the bathroom as you can see it's a, a decent bathroom and it's got a shower over there um and they come and change your towels everything every day uh, it's got breakfast included and so this hotel here costed us around um i think it was around let's see about 80 pounds a night 82 pounds a night so uh, it can be cheaper it can be more expensive it just depends on the time you're booking this is i'm currently here at the end of june so it's eid week um so it can be more expensive june august time uh christmas time uh easter time uh, but just keep looking around on booking.com and you will find um like different different prices um i would completely be honest with you jerusalem um is not exactly a very cheap place but you can make it affordable. Um, it's not too bad and it's really worth it because it is an incredible place to visit if you do uh, if you do come here. So this basically is the room. Uh, we'll head over. I'll quickly tell you a little bit about SIM card. Um, I actually purchased my SIM card from a website before I came and I picked it up at the airport. Um, I went to a website called SIM and then number two, Israel, I-S-R-A-E-L.com. And on there, there's a 150 gigabyte package. That's awesome. For seven days, you can also buy it for 14 days and more. Um, the seven day package was um, $25, about 19 pounds, maybe 21 euros. And that's for seven days. You get um, 150 gigabytes of internet. I think some local minutes in text as well. So it's really not bad. Uh, the coverage is um, above average. Um, so I really recommend you get that instead of landing here at the airport and then uh, getting a SIM card. So what you do is you buy the sim card online the day before a week before you pick up after arrivals there's a shop i'll put the name of the shop here go inside the shop tell them that you've ordered a sim card show them your order number and they'll basically just give you your sim card you can put it inside go through a small process short process and you're good to go so let's head out on to the streets of jerusalem and i'll tell you a little bit more around costs and things like that today is actually a friday um it's jumara day so it's going to be quite um busy as well because obviously there's prayers um i'll try to show you drink food all sorts of stuff so let's head out onto the streets of Jerusalem all right guys so we're currently outside uh, Damascus gate right now as you can see just over there now the reason why I've come here is because I want to show you guys this here is the old city and this is one of the main places that people come uh, when they come to Jerusalem I highly recommend it if you look over there you'll find a load of shops uh, along this strip uh, you'll find the famous Golden Walls Hotel as well um, so you enter the old city from here you can buy a, a, a lot of food here like shawarmas and stuff like that the traditional stuff hummus and falafels and stuff like that further down you also have some cheap bites but we're gonna enter the old city but before we do that we're gonna go over there to the bus station because I want to tell you guys a little bit about how much the buses to certain destinations cost so let me get there and I'll show you guys tell you guys the prices all right guys so we're currently at a bus station now this is the Arab bus station it's also called if you look over here it's called the Hanev VM terminal I think it is if you just zoom in close to that you'll be able to see the this station here is actually one of the main stations uh, to go uh, if you want to go to Bethlehem or Hebron now how it works is there's a bus here um, the people are waiting for it it's the 231 bus right now the 231 bus and the 234 bus they actually go towards Bethlehem I think the 234 goes to a checkpoint and the 231 goes inside Bethlehem. Now, whatever, whichever one you take, once you get to Bethlehem, the ticket to get to Bethlehem, by the way, is half an hour driving, is five and a half shekels. It's like one pound, so it's incredibly cheap, comfortable, and they've got USB sockets in there as well if you want to charge your phones. 
Um, and then also, if you want to go to uh, Hebron from Bethlehem, you have to go to Bethlehem first, unless you take a taxi, of course, uh, or a shared taxi. But if you use public transport, the cheap way, the budget way, you get to Bethlehem first with the 231 and the 234 for five and a half shekels. Then from there, you'll get a shared taxi. It's also called Sherut, S-H-E-R-U-T, a Sherut shared taxi from Bethlehem to Hebron, it should only cost you around maybe 12 or 13 shekels. They'll drop you off in Hebron, then you walk a little while to get to the main, main kind of, mainly people go there for the, the cave of the patriarchs, the Ibrahimi mosque, the Khalil mosque, but yeah, that's how you do it. So it's quite affordable if you want to travel around, it's completely safe, they'll check your passports here and there. It's completely safe, um, completely affordable, and um, it doesn't really take that long. All, all in all, to get to Hebron, it'll take you about an hour. To get to Bethlehem, it's about half an hour. So anyways, as you can see over there, that's Damascus Gate. We're gonna head in over there. Along the way, let's see if you find prices for anything and we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll try to show you guys prices. All right guys, so I'm currently outside uh, this shop here called Abu Karim. Now, I've been coming here for quite a while, for the past few days and um, it's in the old city of Jerusalem and I thought I'd start here because this is one of the places that a lot of people come to when they come to Jerusalem. It's one of the main kind of touristy areas. So I just grabbed a very simple looking coffee as you can see just from the station here um, and I actually put, put inside the chocolate sauce. Um, I have to say um, it's uh, incredibly affordable and it is extremely tasty. It's one of the best I've had so far. So this one costed five shekels and that's around maybe one pound in the UK, maybe a dollar fifty. So it's incredibly affordable. All right, so we've come to another shop in the old city and they actually have uh, the Medjul dates here. They're famous uh, Palestinian dates and it's only around 25 shekels for one kg. So it's quite affordable actually. And these are really good quality. It's very big dates as well as you can see the size on them. Uh, 25 shekels for, um, for one, one kg. All right guys, so I'm currently in the old city right now. I just entered from the Damascus here over there. And as you can see, you can actually buy some some uh, really nice looking sandals here. Uh, 20 shekels, uh, it's about five pounds, 25. I'll put the exchange rate as well. Uh, you've also got like trainers over here. Uh, you've got stuff like, for example, these trainers over here. Come how, how much is this? 50, oh, all these are 50 here. So you can see all these trainers here are 50. Uh, you've got those over there that are 40 as well. So uh, some really like kind of interesting footwear here as well. Like if you want to buy something as a gift or whatever, if you want to take back home with you, there's some good stuff here. If you come here, you can buy some good footwear. So let's go check out some other clothing or foods and stuff like that as well. That's really okay. Yeah. All right guys, so I've come to another like kind of a juice shop. Uh, they actually have like cherry juice, uh, uh, like slushy, sorry. Uh, orange, they've got cherry, I think it is, and lemon. Uh, and this is extremely cheap, um, quite affordable. It's only like five shekels, um, so it's quite affordable. As you can see, you get a, a generous portion. Uh, some shops will sell it for a lot more, but for five shekels, that's actually quite impressive. Uh, one of the main things that people want to buy when they come here to the old city is, are these uh, kefirs, I think they're called. Uh, these um, Palestinian kind of scarves. And this one here, we've been told is 30 shekels, and the one below, because it's, uh, um, I think, a bit more good quality is 40 shekels um, I think you might be able to get it a bit cheaper elsewhere so we'll have a look around to see if we find any more so we're currently outside another shop now this shop here specializes in nuts um, as, as you can see over here uh, it's quite affordable you have is it kg uh, for 50 one kg of I think this is mixed nuts here uh, for 50 shekels which is around maybe yeah, sure, 60 about 10 pounds as you can see we've got um, uh, almonds here, we've got chickpeas type here, we've got pistachios here for 60 shekels and uh, these are salted almonds, I think. salted 60 as well. So we've got quite a, a few, a variety, and these are, are these, they're not medjool dates are they? Or these are some different, they're not medjool, Palestinian dates, medjool dates? Medjool. And these are 15 or 4 kg. So 15 shekels for a kg. 35. It's more expensive, 35 for kg. Is it, is it because it's bigger? Big. Big, big. So you've got these measuring dates here as well for 35. So not bad prices at all. So if you want to take stuff back with you uh, when you come here to Masjid Al-Aqsa, to the old city, it's a good place to come and uh, buy your fruits. I mean, buy your nuts, sorry. All right, guys. So one of the most essential things I actually forgot to tell you guys is a water bottle. So water bottles here cost around three shekels. But unfortunately, some places will actually charge you around five shekels. Uh, but three shekels is the average price for a water bottle, so it's not too bad. If 
you are coming here and you want to buy like souvenirs and stuff like that um, but they've also got quite a lot of uh, kind of fridge marks here one is eight three is 20 shekels um, over here you've got one is 10 six is 50 um, you've also got these are like five or ten shekels these prayer bees you've got key rings which are like five or ten depending um, but yeah they're not too bad I think these are like five to fifteen uh, you've got the scarves down here, about 20 to 30. Um, so yeah, uh, decent prices around here for souvenirs, not too bad actually. Alright guys, so we're going to go and get some dinner right now. So you guys can join me, I'll show you guys what we eat. And also, um, we talk a little bit about how much it costs as well. Alright guys, so we've come to Abu Karim restaurant again, one of my favourite places and we've got a chicken shawarma here as you can see, it's massive this thing is, it's huge and um, it's in a wrap, it's got all salad, sauces, the chicken and it costs around, um, I think it's uh, 30 shekels and we also have a can of coke here for 10 shekels, slightly expensive here because it's in the old city yeah, um, it's, it's a very decent size. Um, really looking forward to tucking uh, tastier because um, I've been told that the shawamas here are awesome. So let's give it a try. All right, guys. So we're gonna go and find out how much the exchange rate is here. So let's go and find out. You get 3.65 shekels for one dollar. Uh, you also get uh, 4.53 shekels for one pound. For euros, you get 3.94 shekels for one euro. Canada is you get 2.67 shekels for um, one Canadian dollar and Australia you get 2.34 shekels for one Australian dollar so that's uh, some exchange rates there for you exactly. all right guys so that's basically a sum up of the, some of the exchange rates here uh, the exchange rates can um, differ just slightly when you go from one exchange shop to another but that's a roundabout right now is July 2023 and it's probably gonna stay the same for a while all right guys so hopefully this video has helped you guys if you're planning on coming to Jerusalem and it's kind of giving you an idea a glimpse into what the costs are gonna be like if you do plan on coming here if you guys have got any other questions uh, any kind of query about cost of things that I maybe not have covered in the video get in touch with me via the comment section below and I'll try to clarify a few things for you guys if you're wondering about cost of certain things I didn't mention in the video. But whatever the case, uh, please be sure to like this video, comment on this video, and also please be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed because I'll be bringing out more videos like this about costs and travel and safety tips from around the world. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Jazakallah khairan and I'll see you guys in another video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.